Now, let's go to another topic, gunshot wounds. Death or physical injuries brought about by powdered propelled substances. Firearm wound technically defines as instrument used for propulsion of a projectile by the expansive force of gases coming from the burning of gun powder. Legally, the definition states as under Section 877 of the Revised Administrative Code, firearm or arm includes rifles, muskets, shotguns, revolvers, pistols, or other weapons through which a bullet, ball shot, shell, or other missiles may be discharged by means of gunpowder or other explosives. Okay? So, in the picture, that is the result of a firearm wound. Penal provision of laws relative to firearm. Section 2692 of the Revised Administrative Code, Code states that for unlawful manufacturing and dealing or possession of firearm, Section 2690 of the Revised Administrative Code for selling of firearm to unlicensed purchaser, Section 2691 of the Revised Administrative Code for failure of personal re representative of decreased license to surrender firearm article 155 of the revised penal code for alarms and scandals article 254 of the revised penal code for discharge of firearms okay and there are also uh, gun laws in the philippines okay with respect to firearms the handgun and the powered and low powered and so on and so forth classification of firearms wounding power low velocity firearms like a revolver high power firearms like a military rifle nature of the bore smooth bore weapon example a shotgun rifled bore firearm like a military rifle the manner of firing a pistol, okay, example, revolver, a rifle, example, shotgun, the nature of magazine, like cylindrical revolving magazine firearm for revolvers, vertical, horizontal magazine for automatic pistol, types of small firearms which are medical legal interest. Revolver, automatic pistol, rifle, and shotgun. Okay, the pictures uh, shows the examples. Cartridges or ammunition. Principal parts of a cartridge or ammunition are the cartridge case or shell, cartridges with a rim, rimless cartridges semi-rimless cartridges, and belted cartridges. Primer, cart cartridges with center fire, cartridges with rim fire, firearm with pin. Gun powder or propellant, black powder, mixture of potassium nitrate, 75, 75%, sulfur, 15%, Charcoal, 10%. Smokeless powder, single base, contains cellulose, nitrate, nitroglycerin. Double base, contains cellulose, nitrate, and nitroglycerin. Semi-smokeless powder, mixture of 80% black and 20% of smokeless powder. Bullet, like, like slug, missile, and projectile. Shape free end, okay. The form, the shape of the bullet, conical, hemispherical, wad cutter or square nose, and hollow point. Presence, absences of jacket, naked lead bullet, jacketed bullet, fully jacketed bullet, semi jacketed bullet. Okay, these are just matters of enumeration. Okay. Please refer to your book. 
for further discussion. Special bullets, armor piercing bullet, phosphorus flare, tracer bullet, plastic bullet, bullet with plastic sabot, bullet with secondary explosion, soft point bullet. So, this is, in the diagram, there is a handgun, okay? And you can see the parts, you just review it, okay? Important parts of firearms, the trigger with firing pin, okay? In the middle. The barrel, the handle butt, firing chamber, breech block. Trigger guard, front and rear sight, safety device like safety lock, sling, extractor in self-loading weapons, ejector in self-loading weapons. Okay, just review the diagram. Trigger, part of firearm which causes firing mechanism. Classification of firearm based on firing mechanism. Relation of cocking and trigger pressure. Single action firearm or homemade like paltik. Okay? Here in the Philippines, there are many paltik which were bought here in Cebu because there's a manufacturing company. It's not a company really because it's illegal. But it, we have a gun manufacturer here in Cebu. Double action firearm. Sample is a standard revolver. Number of shots on pressure on the trigger. Single shot firearm like a revolver. Automatic firearm like a machine gun. Okay? As you can see in the diagram. Barrel. Okay? That's the barrel. Riflings. Number. Twist rate. Fast twist or slow twist. Direction. Width of the groove and land. Things comes out of the gun muzzle after a fire. So what will come out if you pull the trigger? A bullet. The flame. Heated, compressed, and expanded gas. Okay? Residues. Okay. Bullet. Fragments. Jacket lid. Lubricant in powder particles, power grains, unborned, burning, soot, graphite. In primer, lead, barium, antimony. In barrel, lubricant, rust, dust, scraping from bullet by previous fire. In cartridge case, copper, zinc. Movement of the bullet, okay? Forward movement. Spinning movement, tumbling movement, wobbling movement, or tail wag, pull of gravity. Okay, as you can see in the illustration. Factors responsible for the injurious effect of missile. Factor inherent on the missile, speed of the bullet, size and shape of the bullet, character of missile movement in flight. Nature of target. Density of target, length of tissue involvement in its course, nature of the media tra traversed, vitality of the part involved. Okay, in this case, uh, please refer to your book for guidance because these are just um, an overview okay, of the book. Uh, our discussion is just merely to assist your study. So, if you want in-depth learning, read your book. And if you have questions, don't hesitate to ask me, your professor. Destructive mechanism of gunshot. Laceration and permanent cavity in the bullet trajectory. Temporary cavity. Hydrostatic force, shock wave, fragmentation, disintegration of the bullet, fragmentation of the hard brittle object in the trajectory, muzzle blast in contact fire, other consequential effects on the body of the victims. 
So, as you can see in the illustration, gunshot wound of entrance, okay? It depends upon, okay, the gunshot wound entrance depends upon the following. Caliber of the wounding weapon, characteristics inherent to the wound of entrance, direction of fire, shape and composition of the missile, range, kind of weapon. Okay? Just a matter of reading. Just review it. Contact fire. Effectiveness of the sealing between the gun muzzle and the skin. Amount of gas liberated by combustion of the propellant. The nature of the bullet. Part of the body involved. Okay? This constitute the contact. Pressed and firm contact fire on the parts of the body where the bone is superficial. The wound of entrance is large, okay? Edges of wounds may be inverted. Areas in the entrance wound is blackened by burns, tattoos. Muzzle imprinting, barrel impression on the skin, causes of muzzle imprint. Gun muzzle is pressed on the body at the time of fire. Due to continuous inward pressure, gun muzzle pushed away and hit the body. When gun is fired on scalp or where, where bony tissue is superficial. Bullet may cause radiating fracture. Blood and tissue becomes pink due to carbon monoxide um, reaction. Fragment of lead or bullet jacket may be found. Singeing of hair. Pressed and firm contact fire. Parts of body where bone is deeply located. Wound of entrance is usually large. Edges are, are averted due to outward slapping of the skin. Singeing of the hair. Muzzle imprint due to outward slapping of the skin and heat. Pinkish color of the deeper structure due to carbon monoxide. Loose contact or near fire. Wound of entrance is usually large, circular, or oval. Abrasion color or ring is distinct. Smudging with singeing of the hair. Muzzle imprint is seen. Blackening of the bullet track to a certain depth. Carboxy hemoglobin is present in the wound and surrounding areas. Short range fire, 1 to 15 centimeters distance. Edges of the entrance is inverted, okay? The wound. Within the flame reach, there is area of burning, okay, upon impact of the bullet to the skin. Smudging is presented due to smoke. Powder tattooing is present, of course, there is impact. Abrasion ring, color is present, okay, there is heat. Medium range fire, more than 15 cm and less than 60 cm. Inverted edges with presence of abrasion color. Burning effect is absent. Smudging may be present if less than 30 cm distance. Gunpowder tattooing is present. Contact ring is present. Okay, take note of the signs, okay? If fired more than 60 cm distance, gunshot wound is circular or oval. Wound of entrance has no burning, smudging, or tattooing. Contact ring is present. Okay, take note. The distance plays vital role in the injury. Okay, by virtue of gunshot wounds. Now, let's go to microscopic examination of gunshot wounds of entrance. In contact, near contact fire, epithelial damage and powder residue deposits are present. Carbonized epithelial cell due to heat. 
coagulation necrosis due to hot bullet, swollen and vacuolated basilar cells, thermal changes is seen in corium, in far distant fire, spotty deposit of the powder on skin, cellular destruction along the course of the bullet. Okay? If you are the medical legal investigator, you should take note of all of this. Okay? And guys, these are just matters of reading. These are enumerations, definition of terms. So, read your book. Evidences used to determine entrance of gunshot. Examination of clothing if involved in the course of the bullet. Fabric of clothing may show punch at site of wound. Examination for particle of gunpowder on the clothing. Examination of the internal injuries caused by the bullet in case where the missile hit a bone. Destruction of the bone at the surface facing the wound of entrance. Direction of the cartilage may be driven away from the gunshot entrance. And then the testimony of the witnesses. Now, determining the course of the bullet inside the body, okay, when the bullet has already hit and punctured the skin. External examination, shape of the wound of entrance, right angle is circular, other angle is oval, okay, if you are the medical legal investigator assigned to this case, uh, you should be knowledgeable with this, all of this, okay? Shape and distribution of the contusion, abrasion, collar. Acute angle, collar is widest. Perpendicular, collar will have uniform width. Difference in level between the entrance and exit wounds can be known by measuring those wounds from the fixed reference in the body by probing the wound of entrance. Probe must be applied without too much of a force. Internal examination, actual dissection and tracing the course of the wound at autopsy, fracture of the bones and course in the visceral organs. Location of bone fragment and lead particles. X-ray examination. Other evidences to show trajectory. Relatives difference in the vertical location of the entrance from the exit in the clothing. Relatives position and distance of the assailant from the victim in the reconstruction of the crime. And then testimony of the witnesses. Gunshot wounds, okay, the difference between entrance wounds and exit wounds, okay. So, in the entrance wounds, appears to be smaller than the missile owing to the elasticity of the tissue. Edges are inverted, usually oval, round, depending upon the angle of approach of the bullet. Contusion collar is present due to invagination of the skin and spinning of the missile. Tattooing and smudging may be present when firing is near. Underlying tissues are not protruding. Always present after fire. Okay? Now, in contrast with exit wounds, always bigger than the missile. Edges are averted. It does not manifest any definite shape. Contusion color is absent. Always absent. Underlying tissues may be seen protruding from the wound. May be absent if missile is lodged in the body. Paraffin test always negative. Next, determination of the number of spent shells. 
determination of the number of spent shells, determination of entrance wound in the body of the victim, number of shots heard by the witnesses, okay? Uh, the number of shots made, okay? Problems confronting forensic physician in the identification of gunshot wounds. So, these are the problems that might arise if you are the forensic physician or the medical legal jurist or the medical legal investigator, okay? Alteration of the lesion due to natural process. Medical and surgical intervention. Embalming. Problem inherent to the injury itself. And x-ray examination. Examination of the external wearing apparel of the victim of gunshot may be significant in investigation. Okay? It may establish the possible range of the fire, like contact fire, not, not contact but not near shot, or fire, or far fire. It is helpful to identify the entrance and exit of the bullet. It may be useful in locating the bullet. Evidences shows that gunshot wound is homicidal, okay? If the origin of the injury is homicide. The entrance has no point of election. Fire is made from distance. Defense wound may be present, okay? The victim might have defended himself prior to injury. Disturbance of the surrounding. Wounding firearm. Testimony of the witness, okay? As you can see, testimony of the witness are important because they corroborate your own testimony, okay? Because if you will only use your own testimony, then it is self-serving, okay? So, it has little weight in court. Unlike if the testimony comes from another person, okay? Now, if the origin of the gunshot wound is accidental, um, these are the following evidence that might arise, okay? One shot usually can be heard by the witness. No special areas of body involved. Determination whether it is accidental by relating position of the victim and the assailant. And then the, the testimony of the witnesses. Determination of the length of survival of the victim. So take note the nature of the gunshot wound, the organs involved, the presence or absence of infection or other complications, amount of blood loss, the physical condition of the next is determination as to the length of time a firearm has been fired. Okay? First, odor of the gas inside the barrel. Second, chemical changes inside the barrel. Third, evidence that may be deduced from the wounds. Okay, take note of this. Determining whether the wounding weapon is an automatic pistol or a revolver. Okay, location of the empty shells, nature of the spent bullet, and then the nature of the base of the cartridge or spent shell. Okay. So that ends our discussion about injuries with respect to gunshot wounds. And uh, our discussion was mainly um, enumerations, definition of terms, okay, in order to guide your reading. So please refer to your book, read your book, and then if you are confused or if you have questions, you can ask me directly. And if you want, we can have a live lecture, a question and answer portion for the benefit of everyone, okay?
So, thank you and God bless us all.